Alrighty, let's watch this here. We got a background. That's your idol. Mm, okay. All right. This crack me up here says so almost like pa -pa, it's gonna pop the. the I don't know it's silly, but I would just bring this lower. <laughs> this is so silly. Although my question for you is, it's an interesting. I know that it's wrong. So I mean, it's your design. I'm just curious that she's floating those balls amidst trees. I'm just curious. Not again. Nothing wrong. I'm just curious what the the thinking behind that is. Um, and then. Looking at that, it's pretty cool. The contact on that elbow feels better. Every now and then, it feels like it goes up, and then the ball goes to the left, and then the elbow goes down, but the ball doesn't quite react. It's ever so slightly bit swimmy off. I think it's better than before, but it's, it's a bit swimmy. This feels nice, though. I think, but you know, it's a it's a minor note. There's some good distance there. The head to me maybe is a little bit too translaty. So as you rotate that neck forward, the amount of rotation in the neck just feels like it's it's an IK head translating forward. Again, I'm being extra picky just because my first instinct is like, you know, this is done, it's fine. But if you want to go extra picky. It will be stuff like that, offsetting fingers, they don't move all at the same time. Stuff like that, but you know, that's really into the picky. Also, it kind of depends how far you want to take this and and all of that good stuff. Let me go forward here. This guy, just like with this one though, I would look at the clipping plane in your camera. You can see how this is shimmering here. And then as we're moving the camera, you can see this. So you gotta adjust your uh, near and far clipping plane. Seems like in. 0.1, uh, 1 1.0 on your near. Hold it, I would say, well, put it too far than a million or something, just be safe. Other than that, feels better. I remember doing a slight tweak on this because you have your hold here. The first thing that I feel like is that, that big arm drop from here to here. It's a bit too isolated. I wish it would have a little bit more of a shoulder drop and a little bit of a like an overall, you know, spine droop to the left. Not huge. It's just the shoulder comes down because of that. It's going to pull the chest down a little bit and maybe the head will counter a little bit this way. Minimal, but just enough. It feels a bit too separated on that arm. And watch out. That elbow, you're going up and then we're starting to lose a bit the structure and, and Silhouette. I mean, I, we see it here. It's not like you're resting in something like this for too long. But then we kind of start to lose that arm. So my question to you is, because she's basically moving that arm up with a slight rotation. Could you do something where, I know this is a bigger note, but just seeing this, do you have the freedom? Could you bring that arm out this way? In her other shoulder here, and then that arm would be up here. This is super twins. I would do what I just drew there. <laughs> a massively long foot. But something where we have a bigger twist, even in the root, or you know, so you have something where it's we are not so hidden with that arm that gives us a nicer silhouette. I know she's pushing that ball forward, but she could also have that arm up here. Ball is still here, and then it goes towards the ball like that. Just throwing that out there. It just feels we're a bit too... Like it, it curves from a C to the reverse, but without a twist in it, if that makes sense. Then this feels a bit too... Everything is moving all at once. Where I will bring, you know, a little bit of slight anticipation before you go, if, if you have that arm back there. And then it's the arm, shoulder, and then the chest. You know, it would be this, this, chest, then the root, and then legs. So you're really driving with your arm, meaning that that foot here, at that point, would still be here. And the root would still be here, and then she might be like, really pushed. That arm might be further back, so it doesn't feel so... It feels a bit timid through there. And after that, after she is really, oh, really stretching forward, where you could have 
you know, a really big stretch in my awesome drawing, then you get that forward move with the leg overshooting, overlapping. Although I would say it's a bit fast how those legs go forward and then stop and then come back. Also spacing wise, you can see how this goes suddenly, I mean, the overall shape, you go from this to this. Let me bring up some onion skinning here, right? From here to here. And then that foot is here, down here, down here, and then it sticks. I know we have a slight moving camera, I see this, but still in 2D space, it feels like it's sticking. And then a little bit, and then we go off to here. Okay, my little dot was wrong. And then it goes straight down. Whoa, and then suddenly to the right. So see this, it's a it's a bit messy, spacing wise, the whole thing. I would work on that, but I would, I might have forgotten your initial turnover where you talked about how, what you want to do with the character, but just ask yourself how much you can push this in terms of rotations and the overall pose to make this a bit more dynamic so she doesn't feel, you know, that has a bit of like a lot of angles there where you would think it would still be. This is, but the arm is pulling the character forward. So there's a lot of drag in a nice clean line, uh, line of action versus all of that that's going on there. And then you have this. And by this, I mean the legs shoot, shooting forward and going back. And then this arm feels like it's a bit stuck back there. Stuck, 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 stuck. And then suddenly going forward and then suddenly up, but then also hitting a wall as you go up. Bam, right there. Boom. So I think generally just there's a lot of spacing cleanup that's needed. That might not be the best either. You have a little tangent there and there. This feels more like she's on the chair and she's the thinker. So even then it feels like she's almost towards us where you can, I would rotate her more. We can see part of her back. Let's look at some twists, kind of pushing the twist aspect of it. And then the way she goes back, it feels a bit more, here's a pose, here's a pose where you go from A to B versus, well, if I'm here, what's going to go first? What part is leading? And imagine she's floating. Imagine, I don't know, let's pretend she leans back with her body like, oh, like that then the body would be here, the root would still be here, and then the upper body would stop, and then the root would follow, and then at the end she'd be there. So it's not so pose to pose, but you have, well, I don't know, you can also lead with the legs back, you can relax her arms, and then legs, and then she's kind of backwards floating back, like, however you want to do that action. I would just make it a bit less pose to pose. And again, spacing wise, if you check, for instance, this hand, it goes up, 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 bam. Then we got a 2D space lock and then suddenly it goes down. Just a bit messy. Even through here, it feels like we can draw a line here. And she does this and it's just one constant straight line where she doesn't have any breakup between these sections there. Again, with leads and follows. This from the get-go, watch out. You got a tangent right there with the elbow. And even here, I would separate foot out Bring that arm a bit higher. That's a new one though. I like the idea here. And then I will probably go, because you're lifting that elbow, it feels like, all right, that's gonna be a big smack up here to lead. But then suddenly now we're dragging with that elbow, I will probably go higher. And then here already be, be in a cleaner silhouette. So it's not so stubby here. So you have an arm up there that almost forms that line of action. So it doesn't just stop there, you continue with that arm and then you can continue and you can almost bring that arm further out into a nicer C and that's not too bad. You can even break that arm a little bit into that, which is cool. Same thing here, you got a couple of sticky frames where the head is stuck in 2D space while the rest comes down, we're really bending her. But it's mostly some spacing issues and then the ending, let me see. It feels a bit like we're, we're coming to rest too quickly. With such a twist and turn. Let's see. She has a rotation back with that arm. 
yeah same thing here so you you have to look at this here how we are going like that hold on onion's getting onion's getting back this to that to that it's almost off my drawing but you get my point so we're hitting that wall boom and then down and even then if you will go down here it's almost like you want to swing backwards a bit which i know gets muddy silhouette wise there's just something a bit odd of having so much rotation this way overall to then stop and it suddenly comes straight down this feels more like she fell down into this and discounting all of that rotation and backwards momentum where i feel like she would almost have to kind of need to almost lean back a bit arm swing back and then she could it's almost like she would take a step back and maybe another ball would form and then she would stand there i don't know I'm, I'm breaking a lot here but just something feels a bit off in that turn I hope that makes sense it just feels like she just comes from straight down and disregards all of that and watch out there's a bit of a, an odd sticky with that really rotated back ankle here which is very straight straight path here i would just relax that foot also a bit and she gets back into this and then the question is do you want to end it like that as in we kind of ease in pose to pose and even have a couple of frames of nothing or do you want to do you want to overshoot a little bit and then relax or do you want to just have a bit of a softer ease in over a long period of time with a little slight moving hold and then cut just gonna watch out for that it feels like there's something kind of missing at the end there and that is that okay hold on let me just check the camera there's something i think it's okay it's a bit harsh if you look at this it's not a super linear key but it does feel a bit harsh as you go back at least you're overshooting and coming back but then as you come over here it kind of locks it's almost like you could keep going with a slight handheld just because you're suddenly moving the camera here again and just a little bit i don't even think you need the camera move right here because we're not really reframing the character where you know she goes over there and we need to pan or maybe tilt so that little slight move i would probably take that out in the camera and that is really that for now all right thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you